everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I've got my mum with me. Uh, she's a young 67 years old <laughs> and she's going to talk about some of her favourite uh, beauty and makeup items that she likes to use. I think this is a really interesting video because obviously like younger people like to use you know different things. I think it's really important to like share um, you know what other people might be interested in. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, very much. And what do people need to do for my YouTube channel? Well, they need to click like yeah. and subscribe and share it with their friends. Yeah, there we go. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to start with, Mum? Well, I think one of the things that um, I encouraged Rebecca to do from a very early age was to make sure before you go and slap anything on your face that you need to have really really good skincare and I know there's really lots and lots of products out there and uh, I've tried quite a few of them but I keep going back to uh, number seven yeah, you've always I number really seven. really like number seven like it's not inexpensive and it's not mega expensive and you get your boots points of course you do you get your, your boots, boots points, points. <laughs> and what i always try and do is get a uh, buy three and get three for two uh, three for two that's it three, three for, for two. two and i also try and do it when it's got double points on as well making so. the most of all the offers i know i know and uh, you've always got the most impressive boots point statement ever. yes i have and i don't waste <laughs> my points i always try and save my points for yeah, something that's special what I do. as well you don't waste it on a meal deal no oh no, no. a meal deal What's that? Anyway, um, yeah, so the two products I really, really like, um, well, there's three actually, I and mean, I've only got two of them here, but I do like the number seven serum, which I don't use every day, but I certainly use... Which one's the serum? Uh, well, it's number seven serum. Oh, you haven't got it with you now? No, I haven't got it with me now, um, but I don't use it every day, okay. whereas these two products I actually use every day. So the first thing that I like to put on, because like lots of us ladies, we like to make sure that our eyes last as long as possible and look as youthful as possible for as long as possible, is the number seven youthful uh eye serum so uh shall i um, shall yeah you can take it to the camera take it to the camera so here we go i think i've got to hold it like this yeah, so everyone good. can see that's it good. is that okay i'll put the name down the bottom anyway so everyone can see as well right as well. and what i like about this is that it's not too heavy it's quite a light eye cream and a little goes a long way. That's great. Uh, I don't put it, I, I tend to put it just over my eye, or oh, over my eyebrows, just under my eyebrows, dot it around and underneath as well. I don't really put too much on the top of my lid of my eye because otherwise I think it can. Oily. Yeah, maybe get a bit oily, make, yeah. might make it a bit puffy. That's what someone puffy. told me anyway. <laughs> Puffy, puffy, not poofy. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so uh, that's the eye serum, and then the other uh, item by number seven is protect and perfect intense. Mm -hmm. Now I believe. Let me just show this first of all to the camera. Can you see that? I'm just moving my finger. I believe they do a richer version of this day cream which is for m more mature skin yeah i think they do like uh set for third i think they put it in age brackets yes they do they've got yeah. 30 40 50 still whatever yes yeah yeah and i think this is for um the the, the mid age mid you're not quite range. at the well, I think if I told them my age, they'd probably try and sell me this really, really rich day cream, which I think I've actually tried. Too much. I don't like it. It makes you don't my want skin too, much too greasy. Day. Yes. Uh, whereas this is, once again, a bit like the eye cream, fairly light. It smells it, really nice. Yeah, it smells delicious. Quite light and cool on the skin as well. And I think it's got SPF in there as well. Does What's it say that on there? Has it got SPF 15. So that's that's quite it's good. It's something. Yes, it's something. And I'm I'm not really a sun person. I try to stay in the shade quite a bit. Um, so I feel that that's adequate. And I think it's an excellent product. And I would really, really recommend it to my friends of the same age group. Maybe older. I don't know. But smashing. Love it. Cool. Yeah. What would you like to talk about next? Okay, so... 
I put my creams on, you know, my my moisturisers and my eyes and so my serums. And I guess the next thing that I would then try to do is to make my face look fairly decent. (laughs) And um, (laughs) and what I try to do is because I oh god I hate it when you get these sort of dark circles under your eyes and. what I love about having a nice young daughter like Rebecca or Becky is that she has taught me such a lot about makeup. It used to be the other way around. Mm-hmm. I used to try and help you, didn't I? And tried. suggest, yeah, tried, right? <laughs> and suggest different um, products that she might like to use. But as the years have gone on, Rebecca's really kept herself up to date with products that are out there on the market. And she's. Um, well, she's given me some great products yes. to, to try subscribe. and to use. <laughs> yeah, so subscribe to Rebecca's <laughs> channel. Okay, so this one is by Becca. It's an which... Australian brand. Did oh, you know that? I didn't know that. So from Down Under. Okay. <laughs> So, um, and Down Under is being used under the eyes. I got you this for Christmas, didn't I? Yes, you did. You did. And the great thing is that it, well, it looks a bit pale. It's, just... a colour, it's a colour corrector, technically. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, it corrects my under eyes beautifully. Like, you might think I've still got some dark circles under there, but you should actually see them before I put this on. Okay, so what I do is I just dab a little bit underneath gently and I put some on the top lid as well sort of blend it in a bit both sides and then I use another product you know that also comes in um, a deeper shade as well if people have got oh, does uh, it? deeper skin tone as right well. okay well I've, I've gone for the light skin tone because yeah of... you are like me you mean like medium skin yes tone. I'm not obviously I'm not a dark skin I'm a bit sallow um but that one I think suits what yeah, I'm trying to yeah. achieve, right? So um, then, so once I've got the uh, eye Cream. corrector, eye corrector, yeah. corrector, yeah. Corrector. I then use a, a lovely makeup brush and use well, you this. Might need to be careful. I don't want to tip it out. Yeah, don't tip it Maybe out. Maybe just close it and just show the the lid. Just okay, show the then. packaging. Right. So this is Becca. What's it called, Becca? It Be- is. Becky. <laughs> uh, under, eye uh, under eye brightening setting powder. Right, so it sets, as it suggests here, <laughs> it sets the under eye corrector. So if you don't use this, your eyes can look a little bit sort of, dare I say, a bit wet, a bit shiny, mm. and you don't want to look and like that, do And it will also like move around, like if you set it, it will last a lot longer. Yes, well. yeah. And it, it just makes... I don't know, it just makes the skin look smoother and lighter and, yeah, almost like I used to be quite a few years ago. But hey-ho, we all um, progress in our years and it's about making the most and the best of yourself, isn't it, really? So I uh, highly recommend both those products. Yeah, that combo. Yes, that's right. And f- funny enough, a couple of friends have actually asked for recommendations, like what, what do you use under your eyes and... You know, and they're of a similar age, maybe a tiny bit younger than me. And um, this is two products I recommend. recommend. And as soon as I recommend them, off they go to the shops. You can get Becca and John Lewis now as well. Yes, so, well, that's or... where they all go. That's where they, they all go. go. All yeah. off to John Lewis. Yeah, they are all off to John Lewis. <laughs> right. Now, the other thing that... Um, is there something quite new that I've used? Um, we got this... Well, Even around, Chris, around Christmas, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, you maybe just a bit before Christmas. Um, it's called, well, what it is, is a poreless putty primer. And it's by Elf. Elf. Yeah. Yes. And that stands for eyes, lips and face. Well, I know. Like, all these trivia facts. I never knew that. <laughs> eyes, lips and face. That's me. Eyes, lips, face. Right. <laughs> so, uh, this putty primer is really inexpensive i think it's eight, something eight like pounds. about eight pounds isn't and then it? if they've got i think you've got like a free shadow stick yes i you've know got like it a was freebie wonderful with it, yeah and i recommended it to another friend and she dashed off and bought this one as well i think she's really really chuffed with it because as you get older you get little sort of deeper lines laughter lines that come at the side of your mouth maybe across the top of your lip i don't actually use it around my eyes um, not too heavy there 
It might be, yeah. Skin lock I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it's a it's a dupe for something, isn't it? It's um yeah, Trini. Trini does something similar. And I was going to buy I went and had a um a Trini consultation, which was great. Um, oh, you've got something you're gonna show. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, and one of their uh, her products was sort of like a, a putty primer. A bit more expensive. I think it's like twenty two pounds for about a fifth of how much she gets. I know, here. I know. So it's not totally miracle, miracle, miracle. But it does give you a little bit, it just smooths things out well. It fills in some of the cracks. Um, I must admit, I don't really like wearing foundation. Although well, I, I don't do. wear foundation. No, either. no. I just and wear it, concealer. Uh, yeah, and sometimes when I wear a foundation, oh, if my, my skin feels a bit ploggy. Especially when you wear glasses, because I wear glasses mm, as well. Mm. And it just... Ooh, and like under where your glasses, I know you shouldn't have it yeah. touching your face, but might yeah, you can't. You can't then, help yeah, it. it goes yeah. all here, it goes all over the nose, and yeah, then yeah. everyone can tell you wearing foundation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I like my, my skin to feel as fresh as possible, but I like to look as good as possible uh, at the same time. So um, I sort of, I guess it's a bit sort of like put a bit here, put a bit there. You know, and try and I try and focus in on the things that yeah, everyone I guess, will be different. Yeah. I guess some people might use it on their pores, some people yeah, might use it on their yeah, that's right. lines. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my um, pore putty. <laughs> then, um, oh, well, let's talk about my well, my Trini, my Trini pot, because all the things that she um, advertises and markets currently is in this stack of pots. And I did get a stack of products. It was like a lightsaber sized stack. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> um, but you introduced, I didn't even know this brand existed. So yeah. it's uh, Trini from Trini and Susanna, if anyone remembers. Is it How to Look 10 Years Younger? Yeah, possibly. It used to be on the TV like <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Trini started this makeup brand. But I think it is aimed at. I think a it's a older yeah, demographic. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Oh, but that's great. Like, there should totally be more makeup yes, out there aimed yeah. at that because, you know. Everyone deserves to be able to feel and look good. So, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it, it was a it was a great experience. That oh, it was day, such wasn't a good day. Yeah, if you, it was um, it's a great like gift for any like mums or nans or aunties. You can book um, uh, a makeover. I think was it like forty pounds? I don't know. You paid for it. I think it was forty pounds, <laughs> but it's you can then like mum could then spend that 40 pound on products so yeah. not only did you get this hour makeover and there was you know gave us like cups of tea and other makeup yeah, artists yeah, it was lovely yeah, yeah. um you also then got to buy some really nice products yeah there. so there was other people there as well in the studio it was in their head office which yes. was really weird it was strange when we went maybe we'll do a story time video about the makeover at yeah trini that'd be and good that would be good yeah so we can talk about the, the stack that yeah I we bought. can get all the trini products in do yeah. a little review maybe yeah anyway so this this particular one i use quite regularly and it is um, oh, <laughs> it's called now this is do you call it a duo product because you can use, yeah, it, you can use it on things. your lips and your cheeks. yes so this is um there you go have a look at that one it's the trini and it's called freddy hopefully you can see that okay and it's lip cheek do you want to show the shade oh yeah let's let's have a look at the shade it looks let me just it looks do really that. dark it's really it looks really dark and i think it's very very complimentary i think it's very flat it's got like so many different tones yeah yeah and it's very well thought out color yes because i think Many people could wear that from lighter if they were really, really gentle yes, with it, yeah. to deeper skin. Yes, tones. you can vary how much you actually put on. So I just dab it across here, you know, on your yeah. apple or whatever it is, and uh, your cheeks. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. I think it's it's nice. It makes me feel almost I don't know fresh, fresh a bit. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And um, and you could do a like a, a monochromatic look, couldn't you? You could put that blush on your cheeks and your lip. You could even put it on your eye. Mm, maybe sure. you wouldn't do that I maybe i'm that. not into red eyes or um, <laughs> the eye. red eye express <laughs> i've got pink eyes though yeah today. i know i know i know no, i'm just not into that no i'm not i think when you get you older i think if you're older you have to not go too crazy with your eyes yeah, and i i get, yeah. I, I, I try to not put too much on my eyes unless you of course i'm going out yeah. yeah so um yeah and i 
sometimes do put that on my lips mm -hmm. as well and then i put uh, a trini uh, sort of like a gloss a complimentary type gloss we'll talk or shade. more about that yes. in our next video oh yes i mustn't jump the gun <laughs> <laughs> and talking of lips oh Aww. like rebecca has got quite a few lipsticks in fact i don't even know i think i got it off you though you used to have yes every time we went into town when i was younger mm. it was either lancome or clinique you yes. would go to yeah and you'd treat yourself i would i you know i think <laughs> lipsticks are just wonderful such a they do so much for how you feel really and and how mm. it makes you feel and i'm constantly trying to encourage my friends who don't use lipsticks to use <laughs> lipsticks because i think they just make people look so fabby yeah. you know I love and lipsticks. uh it's uh, i don't know and I've, I've you know i just think i know the, the price range varies from things that are quite inexpensive to some that are more than you might want to play a nice kind of thing that you can treat yourself with because they last so long i know that's right and you yeah. sometimes have a bit of a memory attached to them oh, as yeah. well if you go on a holiday or um like a girl's day out or something why yeah. not yeah treat yourself to a nice lipstick it's like sometimes we've been to sephora haven't we abroad oh, and we've yeah. we've treated ourselves haven't we to, yeah. a, to a lipstick and it's a lovely mother like and daughter when, um, sort of experience really. duty free at the airport as well because then you can use that lipstick for the entire holiday that's true that's I true like buy lipstick what was the one free. we bought from mac was, was it, it uh, red was it it's like apple? new york apple yes yeah that yeah, was a nice you one love wasn't that it? one yeah. that was your favorite mac yeah. shade yeah anyway <laughs> uh my Biggest, biggest favourite, and I would recommend it to everybody. But what, 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 what? I don't suit that shade. Which shade? This. I've shade? tried it because this is my mark. She's. How many have you got of them? Three or four of the same shade. Oh yes, this. I um. Sometimes I forget the names of them. That the by <laughs> this by by Terry lipsticks. Okay, and I don't know. Is it a particular type of lipstick? Um, it is the high. Hydronic Sheer Rouge, so it's a, a very moisturising lipstick because I think it's got hydrochloric acid in it. Oh, is it acid? Oh, I didn't know but it's that. Not, it's, not, it's not like a, a burning acid, it's just what it's called. Yeah, uh, it's a very moist, for me, I love moist lipsticks, but I equally... Don't say moist, you'll freak people out. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I know, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Very <laughs> moisturising lipstick. Moisturising <laughs> lipstick, and... <laughs> It also, the colours I like, I like to have, um, I like to have colour. I don't mm. like it to You're be not a just, a, nude. I'm not a nude, I'm not a, uh, just a bit of a glossy type person. I like to be able to see the put the colour on my lips and see it and mm. see what it does for me. Because this shade does not look good on me at all. Right, now what, remember, why. remind me, this my eyesight's shade, terrible. <laughs> this shade is called Grand Cru. Grand Cru. And the other thing is, the Grand Cru reminds me of wine, and I love wine. Shall we show the show shade? Show the shade, right, here we go. It's a really interesting, I think it would be quite so hard, hard to, to um, yeah, it'd be quite hard to see keep it, okay. it so specifically. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Although it looks berry, there is a slight mauve-ness to it. I can't quite describe the shade. I'm not sure there it's is... for everybody. I think it's for people, really, who have, dare I say it, like, have got darker hair. And I see maybe... it's like the olive skin tone. Like, I think it's really good on an olive skin tone. Yeah. It doesn't look good on me at all. No, I think it would be too, mm, a bit trashy. Not tra it doesn't look trashy, it just pulls weird on my skin tone. Yeah, fine, fine. Yeah. A bit trashy. <laughs> yeah, well, I know what I mean when I'm saying this, but um, I... I'm glad someone does. Yeah, so you know what I mean? You've got this... Any lips, lipstick has got to make you look nice. Yeah. Now, sometimes that might be a bit subtle. Sometimes it might be something that's a bit more of a statement. And I've got lipsticks that Rebecca has got... And I think, oh, They look totally different. They, they just look awful, don't they? You know, like, I can't wear anything that's too orangey. Yeah, I like sort of like a rusty, reddy sort of colour. Mm. Oh, God, you know. Um, I just... Well, talking of rusty, reddy, I've got something here, which is another favourite brand. And I know Rebecca loves this. And she actually introduced me to this particular 
brand and this particular Charlotte color was Tilbury, in yeah. Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. So Charlotte. And I knew when she came out with these lipsticks because Charlotte does the matte and the cream lipsticks. Um, but they're not like the lipsticks that my mum likes, that like the really glossy ones. And I knew as soon as these came out, they had mum's name all over it. And <laughs> unfortunately, she went into John Lewis and bought what I was going to get her for Christmas. <laughs> so she ruined <laughs> she ruined that. But that's not a problem <laughs> because I like to have a lipstick. Well, I've got my lipstick tray and it's got all my different lipsticks in. I also like to have, because I put a lipstick on, if I can, every day. A handbag lipstick. And I've got a handbag lipstick. And sometimes I've even got a car lipstick as well. So this is why I've got so many of the same particular shade. I just love certain lipsticks. Now this one, oh sorry, did we say what it was called? It's called Walk of Shame. Oh, Walk of Shame, yeah. but that suits me. <laughs> Uh, so that actually was a matte lipstick that Charlotte Tilbury came out with um, a long time ago. And I think they've now even come out with like an eyeshadow quad as well, inspired by the shade. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's beautiful. It's, a, it's like a caramelly yeah, sort of it's, red um, caramel colour, isn't it? Charlotte Tilbury is incredible with tones. Like she, that's what she's really good at. And I think it's very easy for brands to just put out nudes, but they look a little bit off because this is a form of nude for some people this yeah way. yeah um but charlotte i think really spends a lot of time when she is making her her shades and her colors to get them just right so yeah and they're not as dark as um that is showing up really. it has a bit of a translucency to it doesn't yes, it? yes yeah it does and if i put it on it it, it sort of brightens my lips up but it doesn't like the, the one i've got on today which is the grand crew is quite bright ish whereas this one's tad natural but it's not sort of like ooh, very pale no it has some color to it yeah that's right and the other thing is it smells lovely and is it a bit weird to say it actually tastes quite nice as well <laughs> it's, it's got a lovely taste to it as well yeah you don't want a lipstick to taste bad no no, no. but some some lipsticks taste nicer than others and it's <laughs> Expensive to eat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 the last makeup item. Yeah. You've yeah. got one more thing to talk about. Oh yes, yes. And you can't you can't go out or indeed you, even if you're not going out. Even if you're not going out, that's right. I I just love putting makeup on not makeup. Like perfume. Oh, mistake, mistake. I love <laughs> to wear perfume. Perfume. <laughs> perfume. We got it out in the end. Yes, yeah. I love to wear perfume. So yeah, I made you pick your favourite one, didn't I? Because you've got yes, I have um, quite a few perfumes. Too many as well. perfumes. Yes, yeah. I'm the same though. I've yeah. got to, like I've got perfumes here that aren't even in my flat in London. I've still got I've got about ten perfumes yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny, isn't it, how your perfume uh, I don't know selection changes over the years. Like mm. when I was about oh, I don't know sixteen, seventeen. You probably don't know this, but blue grass was <laughs> no one knows what blue glass is grass well is i don't know older older ladies might know what blue grass is oh and i absolutely loved it and maybe it was because a couple of older ladies that i was working with in a saturday job at the time in a hairdressing salon they used to uh wear blue grass so i wanted i guess i wanted to grow up and you know and all this sort of stuff but then blue grass actually doesn't smell as nice now as it used to and you know my taste yeah, and taste change, fashion changes yes that's right and i guess perfume and you discovered this as well like, yes. you know it was yeah the, the, this we is a range um by yeah. frederick frederick marley or mal malay malay frederick malay malay has it got a, a hyphen on the e that's I don't what know. the lady at the counter yes she did she did okay. yes oh and when you go there you've got all these samples to oh, try oh gosh and you just are so spoiled. Yeah, choice, so the aren't thing you? about Frederick Malley is is it's not um based on like a concept or a brand. They're basically made by the best noses mm. in the industry. And um rather than having like a crazy bottle and spending all the money on marketing and packaging, they spend all the money on the development of the fragrance and the ingredients. So it is is all about the perfume, it's mm. not about although it is a really pretty bottle. 
Um, it is literally just about, you know, the, the fragrance notes yeah. and the quality. So this particular perfume is called Musk Ravageur. I wonder what the... Uh, and, well, it's by, are. well... Maurice. Maurice Roussel. Um, and it's an addition de parfum by, well, Frederick Malley, right? Now, I don't think it actually says on the bottle... What the, notes uh, what the notes are I and might, all I know I is I quite the, like it <laughs> I might pop the notes somewhere on the script well it's obviously got musk in it yeah, yeah. from the name and I do feel ravishing it is a sexy when... <laughs> it is a sexy smell I think it's a it's sexy it's quite fresh fresh but it's Excellent. I don't know it's just it's delicious it's really hard to explain yeah it's definitely like what I would I would call this a evening or like autumn winter perfume right i wouldn't right. say this is a summer fragrance for myself yeah i think yes I there's think you're right. um yeah. frederick malley do one called outrageous oh and that's another thing all of these perfumes have a story like yes. each uh nose <laughs> will write what inspired them so my favorite from frederick malley is called outrageous and i think it's one of the only perfumes made by a woman a woman nose um and it's Inspired, what the outrageous outrageous yeah, yeah. it's inspired by um a summer brazilian evening Ooh. during carnival i don't remember that one i must try that you got Ooh. it for me when we went to liberties <sighs> <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> but it just smells like it's sexy but it's summer right. oh it's you can't you can't beat it you can't find and that's the thing you can't find anything as good it's that yeah. once you once you've gone Frederick Malley, you'll never go back. Yeah, yes, that's right. <laughs> and the lovely thing is, particularly if you go to Liberties, and I'm not sure where else they sell it. John um, well, John Lewis do sell it, but, but they, they don't, don't have, have yeah, they don't have a counter. I think it will be like have Selfridges, have like it will be the probably big de big department stores in major cities. Yeah, but if you if you do happen to go to London, you pop into Liberties, you go and buy some perfume. I don't think you even have to buy any perfume, but I think you, might think you have to. Yeah, but if you buy some perfume, they will always give you three or four decent size yeah. samples to try other and they're always such great customer service yeah, from them yeah i yeah. think the, the staff are also really passionate about the brand because it is such a great brand it's very different from mm. other perfume brands out there yeah and yeah they do they give you so many samples always ask for samples um but sometimes you don't even have to ask do no. you no, it's, you know and, it was but, just... and if you've like well whenever you've gone there to buy perfume they all they always will give me samples too. <laughs> yes i know it's lovely it's, <laughs> it's, it's a really great nice. experience and the interesting thing was, uh, somebody, uh, one of my friends, I, I met up and um, she said, what, what, what perfume have you got? And I told her and she said, oh, I've got some Fred Marley perfumes as well. She said, did you go to Liberties? And I said, yeah. So it's, it's quite interesting how people start to recognise what I would call a quality mm. fragrance. But you know, it's, it's and, weird because sometimes does it last do... forever? On you know during the well, day the you don't forever, yeah well, well the bottle will last you forever depending obviously on what size you get but um, sometimes yeah, it's we, not, it's during not the cheap, day you don't it? need to keep oh no reapplying no. you know the, the, this perfume I put on this morning and it still smells nice still doesn't there, it yeah. you know all right it's slightly less than it was when I first put it on but that's what happens isn't it you know mm. it just well you know, it goes matures. through goes it goes through the layers yeah yeah the notes absolutely so. There you go, musk ravageur, and that's really my my my, my top ones. That's my favourites, but I do have some other favourites. So, are you going to redo I, a part I, two? Yeah, I might do a now part you two. Have you enjoyed this? So yeah, much? yeah. Good, I just can't enjoy this because she's just. I think actually said we're doing a part two. Yeah, let's do a part two. Okay, or maybe um, even a part three or part four. We're going to do um, we'll do a video this week about the Trini makeup experience because oh, yeah. we yes. took some photos on the day, didn't we? We've yeah, got some we before and after. Yeah. Mum can give her like, well, you've now had the products for what, nearly half a year. Yeah. So yeah. mum can talk about what um you think about them mm, now. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. That video will be coming up. Uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that because I imagine this is going to be a very, 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 very long video. Yeah, sorry, I do talk quite a lot. George, well, I talk a lot too. Oh so. my goodness me! <laughs> I must have talked a well. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch you guys later. Stay yeah, safe. Bye. bye. <laughs> there we go. You enjoyed that, didn't I you? Did. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>